So they will always tell me like, oh, you're from a country like that, <laughs> right? But this time the taxi driver told me like, oh, you're from Pakistan? Do you know Zahid Hussain? Oh my God. <laughs> Hello guys. Hello. <laughs> I would like to thank you to invite me. You know, I've been following you on YouTube and Instagram. And it was really fun. You know, oh, really? I mean, yeah. I mean, as you said, you were watching Pijong Sang Hedam and you're my fan. Yeah, right. I'm really honored. <laughs> I was your fan too. You oh. know, but I've been watching your Instagram. It's really fun. And you were talking about like really good things. And you got a lot of fans in Pakistan and in Malaysia, <laughs> Indonesia, Bangladesh, India. Uh, you know, this is great. So I always wanted to meet you. And today we finally met. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, there you go. Me too. And uh, the, this place that we're sitting right now is Korea University, guys. Mm. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, this the, is the university that I graduated from. So yeah, my name is Zahid Hussain and I came from Pakistan. I came in 2008 as a mm. Korean government scholarship student and I studied here for five years and then I started working in a Korean company. I worked there for four years and while I was working, I also started doing TV shows. And the reason why I started doing TV shows, I will tell you later. And at the same time, I was also doing professional MBA. So from 9 to 6, I would go to work. And then from 7 to 10, I would go to school for my professional MBA. And on weekends, I would go do TV shows. So that was my life wow, uh, for easy, a couple of years. Yeah, work. really busy life. But yeah, I mean, you know, everything you do has always a lot of things to learn mm. from. And there's always a good result if you do it with a big object in your life so so what I've been doing is um, you know after I graduated while I was living in Korea lots of people that I met in the university or outside the university they didn't know much about Pakistan and I I also knew that a lot of Pakistani people didn't know much about Korea when I was coming to Korea I told my relatives and my friends that oh I'm going to Korea and one person told me like why are you going to Korea there's a war man so you know people think that Korea is only the North Korea. Yeah, nuclear. Yeah, nuclear. so but when I came to Korea I knew the same that a lot of Korean people didn't know about Pakistan. So I decided to do things that could introduce Pakistani culture in Korea and oh. Korean culture somehow in Pakistan. It's like a two-way uh, information sharing and you know that was my plan and that's why I in 2010 we made a Pakistan Student Association Korea also called PSAK. We made this student association with some of my other friends with the objective that introducing culture Korean culture in Pakistan and Pakistani culture in Korea and learn from each other and make Pakistani students have a good time in Korea. So when they go back they could help the Pakistani society to grow also learning a lot of things from Korean society. But, you know, my audience was very small. You know, only students and, or some government organization and stuff like that. So I always needed a bigger audience. That's why I started looking for opportunities in the media. So my first show that I did, maybe a lot of your Malaysian and Indonesian fans would know. First show that I did in Korea was on Arirang TV. It was called Bring It On. So I was there in season three and uh, there were 18 countries in total uh, i was representing pakistan that was my first show and luckily i won that show i became the champion of that show out of 18 countries that was my start of media that's how i started reaching a bigger audience to tell about my culture to tell about my country you know when i talk about my culture you know islam is my the religion of my country so i started introducing a lot of different aspects that is related to my country and at the same time people start through me people started looking at korea like oh zahid is on a tv show in in korea so people started taking interest in korean media also and korea so this is how the journey started and after this show after i won this show i was contacted by pijong sang hedam and then i went to pijong sang hedam for two years and you know what yeah, happened after right. Pijong Sang Hedam. It was a really good show. I'm really thankful to the TV uh, channel which mm. run that show. And it was a good show to educate a lot of people, mm. not only in Korea, but mm. all around the world. Because that show is now, you can watch on Netflix and you know, all over the world. And that show was a very educational show with entertainment. Mm. Some foreigners coming there and talking about their country, yeah. their culture and everything. A lot of stereotypes were broken in Korea. Yeah, thanks to I can sure a lot of image of Pakistan changed a lot. Right, right. I'm really thankful. Yeah, yeah. Not only Pakistan, all of the countries that were on that show, yeah. people started thinking differently about that in those countries. And being the representative of Pakistan, it was, you know, big for me. I was really proud of what I was doing for my country. And I was really happy. And at the same time, I was really thankful to Allah 
and everybody who was who were involved in that thing you know so uh, it was a good show i will tell you a story the level of mind changing in korea mm -hmm. from that show i got a phone call one day from somebody that i didn't know and then he says i'm from pakistan and then he said like oh i, I took a taxi you know in korea when you take taxis the taxi drivers try to be friendly with you and they mm -hmm. talk to you and things like that they always ask where are you from if you're a foreigner so this uh, this person he told me like i always tell them that i'm from pakistan so they will always tell me like oh you're from a country like that <laughs> right like a some something that doesn't represent us right yeah. but he always see on the news there's some problems like on, on conflicts and stuff but this time the taxi driver told me like oh you're from Pakistan do you know Zahid Hussain and I was like oh my god this is great and he was like really thankful yeah. and he called me like I was surprised to hear that so this journey from these kind of things in people's mind to Zahid Hussain was a big achievement for me and I was really happy to hear that. So yeah, this show changed a lot of uh, things yeah, right. about Pakistan, about other, all of the other countries in Korea. And at the same time, through this show, a lot of people in our country started watching this show with oh, really? English subtitles oh. and then they started knowing about Korea too. So this, is a, this was a very two-way directional yeah, side. information sharing and awareness sharing and educational oh. program. So it was really great and after that show, I'm doing uh, TV shows all around and you, I also do lectures in different places so just trying to contribute in the growth of this entire world yeah. by telling people what I know and by learning from them what they know this wow. is what I'm doing man and today thank you that you invited me so that <laughs> I could learn a lot of things from you you could learn a few things from me and our audience learn from us and we can learn from yeah. them so guys thank you for watching yeah. us I love you everybody <laughs> Or yes. a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, you man. You changed Thanks. a lot. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. And oh, I'm so surprised that the power of media oh, can it's change big, man. a lot of it's, things. It's really big. It's really right. Especially not only conventional media. You know, we used to have conventional media like TV or newspaper, mm -hmm. but now social media. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube or all other social media change the world you know yeah. I mean the world has become really a small place because you can share information for free you know this is free information yeah. everybody is getting free information <laughs> and this is changing the world so yeah the power of media is really great that's why I was telling you earlier that you should keep doing your YouTube this is going great and you are helping a lot of people getting to know about Korea and I you know so. <laughs> yeah, yeah man so I wish you good luck I'm always uh, here to help you, bro. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> so that's your job, like um, doing media things, doing more events, events to Pakistani and people and Korean people. True, and exchange true. the culture. True, true, true. My main job is not media. Uh, I'm an engineer by profession. Ah, okay, okay, <laughs> I graduated this university, Korea University, uh, as an electrical engineer uh, six years ago. And then I did my MBA. So I have my profession in... I was working in energy, but then right now i'm working on a startup and i think your audience will be happy to hear that uh, we are going to make a online retail shop oh. in korea because you know in korea every year a lot of foreigners are coming and we're trying to help foreigners to make their life easier in korea mm -hmm. with the help of korean government with the help of everybody around us so what we're doing is we're making an online shop for selling international food grocery so foreigners they come to Korea but they want to sometimes they want to cook their own food for yeah, example right, right. I want to cook Pakistani food sometimes oh. I need grocery right so all those groceries are available in the market but they're not online yet oh. so what we're trying to do is like me and some of my friends we're working on a startup we're making it we're making a platform where people can buy these international grocery things online uh, not only international grocery but also halal food and food from different countries we all all of them we're trying to make them available on our website which will hopefully help everybody especially foreigners to get grocery from their country very easily online on one click our company's name is dukan.kr d-o-k-a-n.kr that's our company we're going to la launch it in september hopefully sure. <laughs> that is my main job but yeah I do as you said like I do media and I do lectures in different universities or different organizations just to contribute a little more in the growth of South Korea in the growth of Pakistan and ultimately in the growth, growth of the entire world because we learn from each other and we grow together that's what we need to do so yeah that is why I'm in media Oh, that's a side job it's really cool yeah you're doing great great thank job. you very much thank you because we are trying to make a difference you know so yeah we'll do our best 
Oh, thanks for sharing your Korean <laughs> experience. Oh yeah, here. it was really I amazing. have I have a lot to talk. Sorry guys, I talked too much, good. but I'm sure you guys uh, have fun. I will edit. Learning. It's okay. <laughs> so thank you for coming. It was really good to talk with you. Sure, man. And I hope uh, this video can motivate or informate it to you. I hope it will help okay. you guys. Yeah, for sure. Okay. See you guys again. And Jay and I are going to sing a Pakistani song yeah, right. very soon for the Pakistani National Day. It's on 14th August. So uh, please. Uh, try to listen to our song please come to korea for traveling for studying it's a beautiful country it's a beautiful place and if you are not a pakistani please also visit pakistan it's a beautiful country beautiful culture awesome food very hospitable and kind people uh, same as korea very beautiful country you know so please come to korea and follow our instagram too <laughs> thank you thank you thank you